Hey man, what's up? <laughs> have you uh, have you ever heard of cargo cults? Cargo cults, yeah, yes, yeah, really, yeah, 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 yeah. So it was really big in like 2008, right? It was all these dudes who went to Eddie Bauer and bought cargo shorts, oh, no. and that's how they knew they were a part of this like <laughs> circle, right? It was actually a whole conspiracy, right? There's a bunch of dudes walking around. Some of them were plaid. You were plaid shorts. Oh, I remember plaid. That shorts. was the plaid that cult, and they were freaking weird, right? Did you say thank God? Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, at that same moment, two cargo boxes start floating down from the sky. Everything's up to date in Kansas City. Hey, I don't know if you know this, but if we ever are in a situation where we need to point these at someone, I recommend you point something else at them. Things I learned last night. So the cargo cult, yeah. all right? They're out here and they're Eddie Bauer Ford Explorers. Oh, no. Okay. Wait. Do you remember you the Ford Explorers? Eddie Bauer Ford Explorers? Yes. There was what? like it was like the it was the leather trim. I'm straight up like it's like the they collaborated with Ford and it was like a special kind of trim. We no had no way. Yes. You did not have one. We had one. We didn't have it because it was an Eddie Bauer. We had it like we bought it. My parents bought it. I think it was like a 2002 2003 kind of thing. I don't remember what year they did. What? So it was just a special interior. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, my parents, whenever they were doing their debt free stuff, did I ever tell you the debt free story? No, um, where I was at my friend's house waiting to get picked up and this truck drives by like a uh, it was a GMC brown rusted out like it was t- it looks stupid and it yeah. had one of those bad. It was like an S not an, not a truck, but an SUV a, a GMC Yukon maybe okay, I don't yeah. remember. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, it was like a 90s looking. It was bad bad yeah. dumb truck and it has <laughs> dumb, the, dumb dumb not dumb not dumb dumb dumb, <laughs> dumb truck and on the side of it real poorly. It just says for sale uh-huh. right and it's driving by and we're on my front porch or we're not my front porch. We're on my friend's front porch like a, a group of us. Yeah, and there's a couple girls there. This is eighth grade. Yeah, and uh, they drive by and I eighth grade am just trying to be like the funny cool and I was like who would that's a that's for sale. Yeah. Who? What idiot would buy that Ugh. and we're all making fun of this truck. The truck makes a U turn <laughs> and then I was like oh crap. They heard the truck pulls up in front of the house rolls the window down. My dad had just bought that truck <laughs> and I was getting picked up in that truck where I now have to walk of shame out of my friends front into porch, that dumb truck into that dumb truck dumb <laughs> truck. <laughs> And because uh, that's what my parents were getting debt free. So yeah, I, I'm the, confused what the debt free has to do with this. Well, I was saying the Eddie Bauer thing. They had bought that uh-huh. and then they sold that. Oh, to get a and cheaper got car. a uh, yeah, that's so that was uh, that season of life of debt free life. And yeah, so I don't remember the sequence <laughs> anyway. It was like so two years. So that way you could hold up like a whiteboard that says yeah, two hundred thousand dollars in twelve months. Yes. Yeah. 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 You say two years to lie and say twelve months. <laughs> I did like, say we that. We spent two years to get debt free, so we could hold up a debt like a little board that <laughs> says like, we did this in twelve <laughs> months. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, it's not about getting debt free. It's, it's about, about how pressing. <laughs> it's about impressing Dave Ramsey. <laughs> it's about Dave Ramsey like calling into the radio, being like, "We're debt free," <laughs> and the music plays. The Dave Ramsey at the end goes, "They did that in only twelve months," <laughs> and like you're secretly like, "It took us seven years." <laughs> But Dave Ramsey thinks we did Dave it. Dave Ramsey wants to know we did it. The most and you're like, the fastest. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yep. So anyway, that's what that's where that came from. Yes, Eddie <laughs> Bauer has a truck. They also were the leaders of the cargo the cult. Cargo is cult. how that came about. Okay. Yeah. Well. So yeah. Is, was I, am I right? No. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'll ask you this: Have you ever heard of John Frum? John from John from no, I heard of John too. <laughs> oh gosh. No F R U M John from what about this? Uh, have you ever heard of Prince Philip? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I love his electronics. <laughs> what <laughs> Philip electronics? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Listen, it's the first we're doing. You know, we're sitting down, getting yeah. the juices flowing, getting it. Yeah, you know, first gonna, of the day. I'm gonna make Early a lot morning. of dumb jokes. Yeah, 
We're gonna get them out of the get way. Get them out of the way in this episode. If you're still listening, you probably yeah. bailed out in the dead free story. <laughs> in the dead free story. I that imagine wasn't about being dead free. I imagine you know how like keyboards have like worn out buttons. Yeah. Everyone who listens to our podcast, they're like part of their screen where the plus thirty, like the go ahead and skip thirty <laughs> seconds thing, is probably worn it's out probably on worn their out phone out screen. Their phone. <laughs> like there's just like a weird black circle, and someone's like, "What's wrong with your phone?" Yeah, I have to hit skip thirty a, a lot. lot. <laughs> this podcast <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Okay, so, so Prince Philip and John from F R U. Where's he from? from? Oh my gosh, <laughs> John. I was, I was trying to ask a serious question, <laughs> and then and then it came out like, oh well. Well, uh, so we'll explain that in a second. First, we have to jump into cargo cults. Yeah, uh, this is really interesting. Um, cargo cults, multiple. Is this a type yeah. of cult? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so this is a, a belief system uh, that is uh, really. Uh, popular uh, in Melanesia. Uh, so all those islands along there. Okay. Uh, w- within tribal groups in these islands. Okay. Uh, and so the belief system here, let's, let's describe how it happened. Uh, so most notably uh, it, it's the earliest known uh, cargo cults are dated back to 1880, but the majority of them started in World War Two uh, and what happened was uh, allied forces were okay. coming in to fight Japan in World right. War II, and they occupied these islands all yes. across Malaysia. Uh, and in these islands, they would show up with their aircraft carriers and their planes and their helicopters. They'd land and they'd unload all this cargo, and they'd set up bases. Yeah, and these tribal people hadn't seen any of this stuff in their life because they're they're unreached they're like, tribal groups. Those are they made. What do you call these boxes? <laughs> <laughs> like they're not even impressed with the aircraft. <laughs> they're like, wait, 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 wait. wait. It holds stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they're like SpongeBob in that episode where he's got that yeah. box outside. You yeah. know, they're like, like, can we have that box? Can we have that box? Like, like, no, you can't have this stuff. And like, we don't want the stuff. <laughs> yeah, yep. We want the box. We want the box. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, I like, guess. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, what what they would do is these allied forces, mm-hmm. um, they would uh, <laughs> they would recruit a bunch of these tribal people to help them with running their base, and so yeah, yeah, yeah. and they would feed them with canned food, which blew their minds, um, and they would they would they were like, work. what are the Cans? Yeah, they would be like, "What's this?" They'd open it up and dump the food out. (laughs) Just (laughs) they're like, "No, no, no!" You're supposed to, and they're like, (laughs) biting the can. (laughs) That's not the part you eat. It tastes pretty good. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I love about like. There, I feel like there's like alien movies that do that. Where it's just like they see the basic things. What yeah. am I thinking of? Like maybe um, Day. no. <laughs> What's the one where? Um, oh, you know what there is. There's an there's a movie that is the Flintstones. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No. Where John? It was those movies where John Goodman is Fred Flintstone. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like the live action Flintstone yes, movie. Yeah. And there's one where they interact with an alien, and I cannot <laughs> think about what it is. But that's how the alien approaches things. <laughs> In their mind, in a, yeah, they don't understand. They, how did they get here? They, That's what I'm smart. saying is that they're smart enough to have like flying aircrafts made of metal, but oh, then they but get they here get. and they don't understand like Anyway, that's that's really funny. Those are like that kind of bits that I was just like, all right. Anyway, all that's right, the bit go. I was going for. Yeah, that's pretty. Good. Is that that's funny? They're like this. They're gonna bite the can. They're gonna bite the can. Uh, yeah, which and I mean were... is a phrase that I use pretty often. <laughs> yeah, he bit the can. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen John from? Yeah, he bit the can. <laughs> Uh, so they're helping run these bases. Yeah, and they were there. I mean, it, everything about this is mind blowing. They brought okay. the refrigerators. They had never seen anything like that. Canned food, all these weapons. They were doing like training exercises on the islands. It they're really is like a year from the future kind of. Thing. Yeah, totally. Um, and one of the most amazing things to them is they started equating this. They're like, okay, we work really hard for these these people and then every once in a while <clears throat> these planes fly over and they drop cargo 
Uh, and so these big boxes with parachutes just float down and this full of this canned food and refrigerators and other supplies. So are they thinking this is the gods? Yeah. So oh, man. and almost as fast as they arrive, they're there for a couple of years and then they just disappear and they're gone forever. Uh, and so then these they form like a religion around it. Yeah, uh, and so trying to get the cargo to come back uh, because they ha- they were eaten so well. They what? were so cared for uh, and it's really interesting all over Malaysia throughout the post war era. There were these cults where their religious symbols were American boxes. flags <laughs> boxes and cans boxes with angel <laughs> wings. <laughs> No, they had they had these this really symbols were American flags, uh, UK flags, like any Allied force flag, whatever occupied their island. They worshipped that people group, and they created these rituals where they would dress up and they created very similar like camouflage type suits with like the hats and everything, and they would get bamboo sticks and carve them into like the shape of guns. And they would march around the island, and that was how they were. They like were like, "This is how we summon the cargo," uh, and they would just do the march around. There was even one group that <clears throat> carved into the jungle a giant airstrip, and along the airstrip, they would light little balls of fire down the airstrip as like the lights to uh, to, to create that air, the landing strip for the planes. And they created these like huts that they lifted up on stilts as like the air traffic control tower. Uh, to to create the place for the cargo cult to come back and bring them the cargo um, and this lasted for decades uh, after after World War two with these people who because they're, they're passing it down. Yeah, yeah, and they they and their kids are doing it mm-hmm. and yeah. they didn't they didn't understand it. They a lot of them because like uh, for a lot of these people groups, they'd never seen uh, uh, obviously anything like it like right that right, big right. of like the ships they were bringing in the planes the technology they had and even just something as simple as all white of a sudden people. they show up yeah and they're like this is cargo yeah and then one day car gone <laughs> exactly and they all like had this belief that if they mimicked them then the right. cargo would come to them and That's so they would it. do weird training exercises and it's really interesting there's video of them marching around the woods with their little fake guns and it's like all the men in the tribe that dress up and they like paint USA on their shoulders and stuff like that Um, and these are all like to them religious symbols and these are like ritual religious rites that are attempting to bring the gods back to get the cargo again to bring about that um, couple years that they're their tribe had of prosperity because they had so, so much you're telling stuff. me the American church isn't the only one that <laughs> thinks the American flag is a religious symbol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty accurate. That's pretty accurate. I watched a video um, that of like one of the tribal leaders and he was like he was like every day um, he's like at sunrise we walk out with the flag and it was like they were walking out this flag like in their <laughs> uniform. They put the uniform on and they walk out like a soldier would walk out and they march up to it and they like put it on the pole and they raise it and then it gets up. They salute it and then they they all like <laughs> walk away, but and then he's like and then every day they come, come back for and they decades. Salute. No, it hasn't come back for decades. So um, a lot of these cults began to disband as time went on right because they started to um, have more contact with the outside world. Oh, and they realized yeah, and they realized they're like oh, this isn't like this is awkward. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Like that's you imagine like going to the, like the world meeting and you're like, yeah, we're from this island and this is what we do every day. How do you guys get your cargo? Who do you pray to? <laughs> and they're like, what? <laughs> like, excuse me, what did you just say? And then like, like the, 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 there's two guys. Obviously, <laughs> the two representatives. Yeah. If you and I are representing, yeah. you know, this small island where we've been praising the cargo qu- queens. Cargo um, queens? <laughs> <laughs> so we've been looking to the yeah. car gods. Yeah, yeah. And so the car gods. <laughs> we've <laughs> that's like. <laughs> <laughs> so now <laughs> we're at this meeting, right? You and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I realize what's happening. Yeah. And I'm like, who do you guys pray to? And they're like, we don't. And I immediately understand. And you're like, <laughs> yeah, well, every morning we do that. I'm like, shut, 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 shut. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You don't pray to anything? Like, like, where's look at all this stuff? This is a this water's cold. It came from a fridge. Where'd you get that fridge? And then we go to lunch together. <laughs> and they bring a plate of food. And I go, excuse me, can I have the can? can? I, <laughs> Do you have the can this came in? Do you guys have 
Yeah, no, I don't want it fried. Can I get grilled? Can I have a grilled can? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to bite that can. Yeah, let me bite that can. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take him to a grocery store. Cannot go to a grocery store. There's just cans everywhere, yeah, and everybody's dude. just picking them up. No one's eating them. He's just biting cans. <laughs> Hey, thanks for being here. We've got merchandise. It's a way to support the show and help us do more stuff, buy new equipment, reach more people. Uh, if you like what we're doing and want to help us do that more, uh, please consider doing that. If you want to link to that, all of that's going to be sent to you if you just text Tillin to 66866. I'll tell you, it's not a thing where we're going to text you a lot. We're not. It's not a text service. We're not going to like send you more than more. it's just a way for you to get a link. Uh, it's one text. That's all we're going to send. I promise you. Uh, yeah, boss. There's a couple guys wearing like military uniforms, but they're like not military. They're like made out of like reeds <laughs> and like biting they're cans, just biting all the canned goods. Listen, and it's like I mean, you know, and <laughs> it's just like a teenage supermarket employee <laughs> who's like, yeah, I don't get paid enough for this. I'm just letting them do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna. They're at high V. They're at high V. <laughs> just. Biting just cans. chowing down on the cans. There's like piles of half bitten cans. Yeah, and the beans just spilled all over. The floor. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. I just like to bite the can and drink this can juice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so a lot of these cargo cults sort of started to disband as they well, obviously, had yeah, they more, get more contact. Yeah, except for a couple of these. When, when is this? This is so. How long after? So around the 70s or 80s, a lot of them yeah. began to disband. Yeah, but a, f- a few of them survived because they had a little bit more. Um, a little more going for them than just the experience in World War Two. Um, okay. <clears throat> one of my favorites is the Prince Philip movement. Uh, uh, they believe uh, that Prince Philip is not just a man. They believe he's a god um, probably and I would assume my assumption is that because Prince Philip somehow or somebody who knew Prince Philip and was like associated with the UK told them that. <laughs> at some point point. Okay. Uh, and now they buy the fact that um, <clears throat> uh, Prince Philip is this God figure who even if Prince Philip doesn't come back the deity that is Prince Philip will come back and bring them the cargo again. So they've kind of oh geez. they've kind of taken this to a new level. Yeah, and made it. This more is like of a P anon <laughs> instead of Q anon. <laughs> P for Philip. Yeah, but it's not anonymous. Yeah, so they know. Well, yeah, but I mean, like they're just like he's our yeah. savior. Yeah, and so uh, um, it's unclear exactly when it started. Like, if Prince Philip came, and there's then people waiting on the second coming of Prince Philip. <laughs> Prince Philip. <laughs> yeah, uh, and it was really so. It's not clear if like people from the UK were stationed at that island uh, and they were talking about Prince Philip, and that's where it came from. Or there was a visit where he visited an island in seventy four, um, and just a handful of uh, villagers had the opportunity to meet him. Yeah, um, and I, I don't. There's no record no, of what clear. that meeting was like. Yeah, but I mean, it's pretty safe to assume. Safe to that assume that he <laughs> said, "A prince, <laughs> I am the Lord your God. <laughs> no one gets to the Father but through me." <laughs> and they were like, "Who are you?" And he said, "I am." <laughs> You know, and it's and then, like, and then one of his consults came and was like, "Hey, Prince, we gotta go." He's like, "I'm in the middle of." And then at I'm the, the middle moment, of something. <laughs> yeah, the, at that same moment, two cargo boxes start <laughs> floating down from the sky, and the clouds part, <laughs> and the, a voice from heaven says, "These cargoes <laughs> are my son." <laughs> and they're like, Ooh, "Like they're like the aliens from Toy Story." Ooh, Ooh. right, and so. Uh, Decla, de cargo. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now they're like, yeah, it could be, you know, it's it's could be that they just came up with it on their own. Most likely, he explicitly told them, "I am God." <laughs> That's probably what. That's happened. probably the most likely scenario. Yeah. No, I think what probably happened is I I think what's most likely is the UK were stationed there. And they, they just, just talk about him. They yeah, they were talking about him and someone assumed he was a god. And honestly, I think it's just as likely because let's be honest, the soldiers, they're all like 19 year old kids. Yeah, I think it's just as likely that they were like, hey, let's just tell all these guys that. Yeah, that our that's really what god. I was thinking. I <laughs> like, was like, I yeah, listen, the military, especially in World War two was not <laughs> a spot of like, yeah. you know, 
the good guys from your high school weren't going into the military. <laughs> Yeah, you know. it's a it's a hodgepodge because we're group getting of the world wars. It's just they get they got randomly drawn. Yeah, they took know. whoever would go uh, and they're well, out there they and took they're people like, who didn't want to go too. that's kind of <laughs> that's kind, that's of, the kind of the whole that thing. Was the thing. That's what a draft is, <laughs> right? So they're there and they're like, listen, if we're here, we're going to here. We're going to start a cult. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they explicitly thought that. Uh, oh, man, um, but yeah, obviously, um, in April 2021. That's, that's insane. That's crazy. <clears throat> yeah, in April 2021, Prince Philip died, right. uh, and someone reached out to the village chief where the Prince Philip movement is happening, uh, and he said that they were terribly, terribly, terribly sorry to learn um, of the death, uh, and they held like a significant gathering uh, where they held like this big um, memorial service for Prince Philip uh, on their tribe, uh, but they believed that uh, he'll come again. Yeah, they believe that his spiritual home is their island and that he will return to them um, even despite his death. Yeah. So where's your spiritual home? <laughs> I don't know, man. Mine's the Denny's on Armour <laughs> Road. <laughs> I mean, uh, mine's definitely a Waffle House, not a Denny's. Like when I die, I'm going to haunt that Denny's. <laughs> They messed up my eggs once, and so now <laughs> I'm gonna hold the I'll tell you what happened to the Denny's <laughs> once. Me and a comedian, a couple comedians, we had just done the show. Yeah. And uh, so we went down to Denny's afterward, uh, and we sit down. We're getting ready to order our food, and a little yeah. cockroach. Oh, I was like, right across the I didn't table. think you were gonna explain what a was. You know, just a little. <laughs> you know. You know. <laughs> and a little cockroach, and and I was like, yeah, well, that's gross. Yeah. Can I have scrambled eggs? And like one of the other comedians was like, "We cannot eat here." <laughs> and I was like, well, "It's just a cockroach. It's just a cockroach. Let's be it's honest. It's just on the table. It's fine." And it's he fine. was like, "We have to go somewhere else." So we went to Waffle House. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It was like, "Let's and go somewhere." And then when you were there, you better. saw a live rat. <laughs> just yeah. Sh- it was, but it was, but it was a little out. It's like, but it was helping. It was, you know, it was cooking the food. So we were just saying about it. You know, it's like that's a live rat, but hey, it makes a heck of a bacon. All right, not too burnt. You know, not too floppy. That's a good solid. That's rat bacon right there. The rats like there's like rats like two eggs down scrambled <laughs> <laughs> smothered covered not even rat. And you know what it is? It's a reverse ratatouille because it was actually uh, it was actually a guy <laughs> controlling the rat with his hair <laughs> was pulling the rat's hair and the rat was just <laughs> it's like it wouldn't it be easier for you to just cook sir. Yeah, no, it would have been but that would have been you know it was really drumming up business. It what it was was kind of like a, a, a you know a Charlotte's web situation. Oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah, where yeah, that yeah. pig became a whole thing. Even the pig yeah, had the pig became nothing a whole thing. to do <laughs> nothing to do with the spider webs at all. Yeah, 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 right yeah. Uh, and so yeah, they had a rat that did cook for decades, and mm-hmm. then that rat died mm-hmm. after decades. After I don't know decades. how long this rat lived. So then they had to kind of keep it up because it became mm-hmm. a anyway. Yep, 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 yep yeah. Yeah. So he was helping. Yeah. Uh. So. Yeah. So anyway, okay, the spirit of Philip lives on that. Spirit island. of Philip lives on. And speaking of spirits that live on forever, um, let's talk about John from. Uh, Great. This was an, a really interesting one. We can't quite quite. Uh, put uh, our finger on when this started. Some people will say it was the 1930s. Some okay. people will say 1910s. Some people will even go back as far as the 1880s, okay. um, but there was some moment <clears throat> in the history of uh, the island of Tana uh, where a Western man mm-hmm. uh, supposedly from the US ended up on this island somehow okay wearing Western clothes um, and telling and he told the tribal people about all of the tropes of Western life, um, and obviously they were enamored with this man. Oh, I've heard his song. What? <laughs> um, everything's up to date in Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> That's an Oklahoma reference. Not about as fur as they can go. Oh my gosh! That's good from the musical Oklahoma, the classic. I haven't seen. Have it. you seen Hugh Jackman's version of that? <laughs> no, no. It's actually a really good version. I haven't seen it. You've uh, seen Oklahoma? No. Have you seen? Okay, let's go through it. Have you seen the Music Man? No. I haven't seen most musicals. Name a bunch. I bet. I bet Family you. Opera. I bet you'll be zero for zero. West Side zero Story. Zero for however many. The no, Newsies. No, no. no. You've seen the Newsies? No, bro. Okay. These are like the big ones. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't watch musicals. Shrek the musical. <laughs> Quality. I've seen that one. <laughs> you have seen that one? Why have you seen that one? <laughs> That's because it was on Netflix. <clears throat> well, I saw that at like a high school musical oh, that yeah, like you don't want to watch that you want to watch like it's actually pretty good. Okay, so the Netflix version of it and it's not the Netflix version. It's just a version mm-hmm. that's on Netflix. Yeah, um, is really good. Really? Yes, compared to Shrek the movie. Yeah, actually <laughs> uh, well one. I mean like different jokes, but also really same quality jokes. It's different really good jokes. Yeah, I just assumed it would just be a musical version. a um, live action musical version of the original. It, I movie. mean kind of is that what all musicals are? Are they just live action musical versions of animated comedies <laughs> like Most, Oklahoma? Mm, okay, did Disney mm. make that first? Do you think that Disney <laughs> created the little mermaid? I want you to be honest with me. Well, Do I you think they created a little mermaid. I think they created a little mermaid, but I know that most of their stories they ripped from earlier. Yes, but it's they created they the, the little ending. mermaid. They didn't create the little mermaid. No, 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 no. They created the little mermaid. It was based on something else. Okay, whatever. But where it wasn't Ariel under the sea. Sure. Okay, I just want to make sure that you don't <laughs> think that Disney's just creative. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're campaigning that Disney isn't creative. Okay, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I can't believe you haven't seen any of these musicals. We no, should I'm like do a, a mu- you know musical Monday. I'm or not something. a musical man. Well, eh, okay, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, you just get a lot more of my references if you watched musicals. Do you reference musicals a lot? Yeah. Are these the callbacks I don't know. No. Okay. Uh, so anyways, uh, sorry. Okay, so he tells them, you know, everything's up to date in Kansas City. Yes, they got yes. about as far as they can go mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and they're like, ooh, ah, <laughs> <laughs> yes, so their minds are blown uh, and then eventually he just leaves um, disappears. Yeah, into the and sea, he tells walks them into the ocean. <laughs> Just they see him walk into the ocean. <laughs> just his shoulders and his head go underwater. Never seen again. Because he died. Yeah. And just got taken away by the current. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, he's getting attacked by a shark, <laughs> and he's like waving for help. And they're all on the beach. Just they're like he will return. <laughs> like crying. It's they're so interesting like, how these mm. Americans leave places. <laughs> Every year we must sacrifice someone to the sharks to get our cargo box. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it became this kind of makeshift religious movement because he met the chiefs of the tribe, and taught them like, a lot of things. Here's what's yeah, he taught them some stuff, um, and so they started like like farming techniques and things but that's like, like that. that. Nate Bargatze bit where if he went, you know, if I went back in time and yeah. I was like, hey, you see that phone you're on? You know, one day it's going to be in your pocket, and they're yeah. like, how? excuse me, what? Yeah, it and blows people's like, minds. Uh, I don't know how. <laughs> they're like, see that food? <laughs> see that food you're eating? One day it's gonna be in a One can. Day, and they're like, how? And you're like, I don't know. They're like, excuse me, what's a can? And he's like, uh-huh. um, uh, it's like metal. <laughs> it's yeah. It's so pretty, like, uh, they're like, what's metal? Like, uh, if, um, yeah, that's hundred <laughs> percent. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> is that this guy's just going to this bit and be like, listen, there's a lot of. He's, so at least he had something to teach them. Yeah, that's what I think about when, when the world ends. Like, I think about things as simple as the road. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how to make a road. Yeah, well, you wouldn't. You would have much wouldn't, more important things wouldn't. to deal with. Then make a street. Yeah, then infrastructure. <laughs> I have more things to do with than infrastructure. Like, you know what I need for my one human life to continue <laughs> is a highway. I'm not the only one that exists. <laughs> well, I thought this was a last man on earth kind of scenario. Oh, well, if that's the situation, then ho- I don't know. Anyway, the highway doesn't matter anymore. Traffic's yeah, great. I don't know how to. <laughs> I don't know how to redo the stuff anyway. <laughs> Hey, just popping in again to say, are you tired of advertisements? Are you tired of us not talking about the subject that you clicked the link to listen to? Uh, well, great news for you. Patreon doesn't have any of our advertisements, doesn't have us t- pitching our merchandise or a Patreon. Obviously, you're already there, but it also doesn't have YouTube ads or anything else. So sign up for Patreon and you'll hear less commercial breaks. Our goal really is to break you with breaks. Thank you. Patreon.com slash Jaron Myers, Tillon.com slash join. So, yeah, so he taught them a bunch of stuff. As fast as he appeared, he disappeared. Um, and for years, it became this cult where um, people believed he was some sort of God that came to them and gave them knowledge. Yeah, um, and they're like John from will return um, and what a lot of uh, religious anthropologists believe 
is that John from is actually a shortening of John from America. <laughs> and at some point America was dropped and now okay. they call him John from uh, <laughs> and, but uh, I'm John from America. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and they're like, okay, John from I'm John from <laughs> that's annoyingly funny. That's really good. <laughs> and so people are waiting for John from to return and then World War two happens and the and Americans were, returned uh, and it reinforced this for them because they had this priming God, and they okay. believed they were like, oh my gosh, he actually returned. And so when they left um, this specific tribe, their tribal leaders asked the military. They were like, will you return? Um, and supposedly someone in the military said, yeah, we'll be back. Um, and obviously they haven't come back, but this is one of the few ones that is still active to this day. They're out there building airstrips uh, and doing marching activities, raising the flags. They have these. Rituals. We know this. We know that they're active. Today. Yeah, we know they're active today um, and they just continue doing it um, and <clears throat> and they know like they've seen planes fly over. They've seen ships in the sea now. Like How many unreached are groups are there left? I mean, I don't isn't know. There an island we don't they've, know. They've never <laughs> I'm serious. Wasn't there like a that happened like a couple years ago where a, a kid was like, I'm going to be a missionary to the island and they just spear people who get too yeah, close. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, according to pioneers of Europe, there's three billion unreached people, which is what? probably probably more of what that's they're saying. Three, it's three billion, billion people who don't believe in Jesus is my guess. Oh, that, yeah, that's that's, that's, prob- that's got to be it. Um, I was gonna say there's no way half the <laughs> world is just um, yeah, I don't know unreached tribal groups because I mean like there are islands where they just don't know anything. Yeah, yeah about the outside world. Yeah, I mean and I mean like I sometimes fear that we're on one of those. (laughs) Wouldn't that be a weird dystopian thing? Like what if America America is is a lie is the third world country? Yeah, and everything and everywhere else is advanced. Yeah, that's right. I you know, I mean it's possible. Hey, we should sell that movie plot. Okay, so this is according. Well, this is Joshua projects. This is probably evangelism too. Um, but they say there's a hundred groups in the world with a population of one billion that are like tribal groups, but that's just tribal groups. That's not yeah. unreached. Yeah, so unreached. I'm saying Christianity, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, but I'm saying like there are there are a couple groups where like you can't get to the island because mm-hmm. they mm-hmm. and then they're also protected by the other islands mm-hmm. that are like, yeah, no, they kill people who get too close. Yeah, no, you don't want to talk to them. So we just kind of we might we make sure that outsiders don't go anywhere near. Yeah, but there's always I think once a year there's some kid who just who gets out of Bible college be, who's yeah. like, I'm going to make it. Yeah, you know and rose up on a boat and gets yeah. just killed it just gets obliterated. Yeah, because it's like what's your plan like <laughs> What do you think you're going to be over there and be able to, to teach talk them? To them? The go- yeah, like, exactly. going to understand anything you say. I don't know. And also know. that was I think it was a big story last year yeah. where a kid tried to do it and they were like, you're going to give those people COVID like you're oh, going to kill yeah. all of those you're people gonna kill that whole tribe. Yeah, yeah, dang. Also, you're going to kill all those people even if it's not COVID mm-hmm. like they are. They don't have the exposure to the things that we've had exposure to so they oh, could yeah. die of simple yep. colds. Yeah, like a, yeah, something that's yeah. Anyway, yeah. that's something I'm passionate about is just people who are overzealous and mm-hmm. anyway. Yeah, so uh, there's debate on how this has continued so long. A lot of people right. believe it's because that that's they what had I'm thinking. That priming before with yeah. John from America showing up and, they're, and just, they're just unwilling to let it go. Yeah, but there is um, there is a theory of something a little more like a touch more insidious. I want to say insidious. Maybe that makes it sound really bad, but um, someone's keeping them in the dark. Yeah, that the tribal leaders have been reached by America again mm. um, and they know the truth, but they're not telling the tribe the truth. Well, they don't want to let go of the power. They have. <laughs> yes, exactly. Interesting. And so um, there's, yeah, there's a theory that the tribal leaders are not giving the whole truth to the rest of the tribe. So that way they can maintain this system that they've built around this cargo cult. Um, yeah, and so there's the America one giving them cargo. I don't know. That'd be different. I don't know. I haven't found routinely dropping boxes, dropping boxes over there. Yeah, I don't. I haven't heard of anything else like that. But I mean, it, theoretically, like it'd be believable. Like if missionary people imagine you had a up. plane crash <laughs> that lands on their island, <laughs> and like you're bloody. You're bloody. you survived. Yeah. You're like one of five people on this whole plane that survived, and <laughs> instead of helping you, this group is. Dancing with They're joy, dancing with joy, shouting John from John from yeah, <laughs> and you're like, and you like wake up, you're, you're just like oh. in the wreckage, 
yeah. and they're digging through everyone's clothes. There's yeah. no snacks. Yeah. There's no, and they're like, there's, there's no f- just empty cans. There's no fluid they're over eight ounces. All the empty cans. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you've got your palmade, your two and a half ounce palmade can. Yeah, and they're just chewing just on it. Palmade. Yeah, that's what it's called. Palmade. Palmade. There's no L. Mm. Palmade. I do 100 percent know there's not an L. I know it. there's not an L, but it's pronounced palmade. Mm. Okay. Anyway, palmade. We'll just keep going. Okay. I'm just saying, like, can you imagine if there was an X? It'd be a bummer. Lost would be a very different movie. Or a very, very different, different show. Movie. Yeah, they're like on the island, like, oh, we gotta help, help us, and they're like, you're helping us. You're, helping us. <laughs> you're like, no. They're like, the car goes back. Oh. When does the next drop? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, so uh, David Attenborough did a report on on these people um, and whenever he showed up on their island, uh, they they said that they're like, he looked like you. He got white face like you. He tall man. He uh, live long South America is what they said to him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, so uh, and he did a whole documentary about their religious system and uh, everything like that, but for the most part, cargo cults are pretty much gone uh, with the accepted exception of John from um, at the Prince Philip movement is the second biggest one and then there's a couple smaller ones that still happen, but it almost seems like this isn't a religion anymore. It's more of a cultural thing. Yeah, and they do these celebrations to there's remember. almost like a little bit of um, you know, once you've designed a system, it's easier yeah. just to keep going with it. Yeah, and it's like it's almost like a uh, like um, paying homage to your ancestors kind of you know or even like even more innocent than that like the way we celebrate St. Patrick's Day or the 4th of July like oh, it's sure. just a thing that they do it's like fine, yeah. yeah, it's like oh this is our parade. We march with yeah, like there's nothing to it for most of the people anymore. Yeah, um, except for there's like one guy at the parade who's <laughs> just like yeah every 4th of July. There's a guy watching the fireworks. He's like yeah one day we're gonna point these things at people. <laughs> And you're like, hey, it's a little more innocent than that. Yeah. He's like, no, no. Hey, I don't know if you know this, but if we ever are in a situation where we need to point these at someone, I recommend you point something else at them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, if we're ever in a situation works. where we got to point things at people, uh, we're gonna lock you in the basement. <laughs> right? You're not, you're not allowed out because we welcome. do not trust you. Because you're insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's he like, does oh. this. Uh. It's like you're not allowed at. You're actually not allowed at Fourth of July celebrations. Every Fourth of July, we have to put signs up with your face. Like, if you've seen this man, (laughs) (laughs) have you seen this man? He is not allowed to be at Fourth of July. Is that that's you? (laughs) That's a shirt that says "Have you seen this man with Tim on it?" Uh, These are available uh, underneath this video, and also um, if you text Tillin to six six eight six six, you can. Purchase this shirt or go to tillin.com slash merch, but it'd be a bummer if that guy's a twin, you know, and that's what I'm saying. You <laughs> that's know, that's bummer. the message is it, you know, if you're a twin and your twin yeah. does something dumb, you're yeah. also not allowed places. Yeah, exactly. Like, okay, like the uh, 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 uh like a, if you try to skip out on a meal, yeah. right, and they catch yeah. you, um, what is this? This is, is from the office, right? Oh. And so they take a Polaroid picture of you and they hang you on yeah. the wall, yeah, right. If you have a twin, you also can't go to that restaurant. You also heard, mm, yeah. You know, yep, yep. I, there's just a lot of challenges, and I'm really glad that I'm not a twin. Yeah, because if you're a twin and your twin sucks, then your life, then your you, your by association, yeah. people think you, think suck. you suck. You'll get, you'll be driving in traffic. Them. Someone will flip you off. Yeah, just because they, think, they you're, think you're yep. the other one. Mm-hmm. You know, the yeah, other one. The that sounds the other rough. one. <laughs> That's rough. I'm the other one. What about those octagon no, no, kids? No, no, stop! I'm the other one. Those octo, octo kids, kids, whatever. <laughs> Remember, like when octo- that didn't that lady Welcome have like the octagon? Didn't that lady have eight kids? Is that a real thing? Yeah, octo, octo mom. mom yeah. yeah, yeah. She had eight children. Yeah, are we they all actually okay? Hold on. What happened? To TLC them? needs to make a new show where they make those kids cage fight and they call it the octo mom octagon. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the octo mom octagon. We take eight. What, are they, what do you call? Did you say Oct- which? Oct- t- you think this is a TLC <laughs> show, and then you used your Spike TV voice. <laughs> You're like they're gonna oh, yeah, hire sorry. the guy. Yeah, sorry. TLC. This Welcome is the to Octo- the Octo- yeah. Octagon. <laughs> <laughs> so innocent. The fight is. Welcome to Octomom Octagon. <laughs> this week's fight is between children two and six. They don't even have names. They just call them child two and child six. <laughs> They just got numbers <laughs> tattooed on their chest. Right? Yeah, at, at around number seven, we realized it's gonna be kids? hard to keep track. How old are those kids? Look, Google this. 
Google it. How old are those kids so now? Attracted. I don't care. <laughs> uh, uh, she's got 14 kids in total now. Oh my god! And they're ages from 14 to 19. Wow. Yeah. How old are the Octo kids? I assume they're the older ones. You think that someone had eight children? Yeah. And then, and then was like, let's do this again. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, because once you have eight and you realize you're fine, it's like <sighs> at that point it's an addiction. Yeah, if you've got eight, <laughs> what is twelve? You know, <laughs> what's four more? Same with cats. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that's that you crazy kid lady. Point. You hit that crazy kid lady. <laughs> yeah, she just keeps having children. It's kind of crazy. Collecting kids. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so here's 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 what's really interesting. Um, here's the interesting part. Uh, thank just God. Uh, we're finally, did you say here. thank God. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> John from is a dank God. Oh my uh, God. <laughs> uh, no, so uh, religious anthropologists. I just saw Alex write that down. He's putting <laughs> that in the intro. I feel it. I feel it already. <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, John from or not John from uh, religious anthropologists right. after the cargo cults became a big thing and everybody yeah. was talking about him. They started studying world religions and they started seeing parallels in world religions to cargo cults. And they started theorizing that a lot of world religions were probably began as cargo cults who encountered some group of other people who were much more technologically advanced than them. Yeah, and because they didn't understand the technology, they really assumed it to magic and spirituality. Right, and then over time, it which developed we've talked into about a spiral dynamics before, right? Yeah, 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 and that's that's what that is yeah, exactly. is a uh, a group that's in the purple phase, which is I'm reliant on external forces, but I don't have yeah. any power over those external forces mm -hmm, mm -hmm. encountering a group that is further ahead than them and they have power over those forces. Yes. Yeah, then you automatically think those are gods and you think their technology is magic interesting um, and because you explain it based on the tools that you have to explain it and yeah. the categories you have aren't going to be sufficient. So then you have to re resort to mysticism. Um, huh. And so they theorize that a lot of world religions began that way and then over time developed into what they are today. Um, and it, there's actually a whole group of <clears throat> like ancient alien theorists who have the same sure, theories. They say sure, sure, sure. They, they say the same thing. That's the whole group of like people who think that Egypt was so far ahead, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, further ahead than we are now mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and, and they that's use interesting. The, the cargo cult phenomena to say, hey, this was a people group that was reached by something far more technologically advanced and that's where their religious systems and their society came from um, which is are there interesting ideas. You can't prove them, but they're interesting ideas. Yeah, um, but yeah, cargo cults man. They're crazy. That's why I mean I worship Bob Lazar <laughs> Bob Lazar <laughs> every day Bob from Lazar every day. I wake up <laughs> and I march into my living room dressed like Bob Lazar, which is just a dirty polo. <laughs> you know. It is a white polo that's and slightly thin, not white. Thin anymore. rim glasses, large thin, thin rim, rim yeah, glasses. Yeah, and I like yeah. push my hair disheveled and all this stuff, and um, and then I just walk around and I go, "There's no art in here." <laughs> Where's the art? Where's the art? <laughs> and I do that from about seven a.m. to seven ten, and then I sit down and I start to you know really read. I journal about I journal about, I journal about, my, about the lack of yeah, art. Yeah, yeah, I journal about it. It's just me writing. <laughs> Where's the art? Where's the art? Where's the art? And then, in a way, if you really think about it, the journal becomes art. In because that way, it becomes art. Yeah. Every Tuesday, I have a group that comes over and we read Stop. my journal <laughs> together. Actually, I have an I have an accountability partner. <laughs> like really checking in and be like, "Hey, did you did you did you read today? Did you journal today? Did you journal today? Did you yeah. journal today? Yeah." Anyway, yeah, that's <laughs> interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. That they, they huh? Hmm. It's a really interesting idea. Where'd uh, you find this one? Where'd you find this topic? Uh, internet. The, <laughs> That's where I find most topics. <laughs> Did no one suggest this one? No, nobody suggested this one. Uh, um, I actually, actually, the way I found this one, so this is ridiculous. The way I actually found this one um, was Tom DeLong's book, which the okay. singer from Blink 22. He right. opens with well, the story. Name sounds made up. Which who? <laughs> 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 uh, I, I want to see if. Uh, well, I won't read it, but the opening. Uh, uh, chapter of his book. He talks he, about this. He tells the story of a cargo call. I think he actually tells the story of the John from interesting cargo call, but he doesn't. He doesn't. He buries the lead until the end, right? So he tells the story of 
these people group, this this tribal group, and he paints the picture like they are um, religious. Yeah, and then and then this other group comes, they start dropping all these boxes with deliveries, and he so he paints it in a way where it's like you don't understand that this is the military. You don't even right, understand that's right, the forties. Right. And at the end, he says, um, "This is World War II." <clears throat> yeah, it was it was a journey. Like reading that chapter was really interesting because you're like, "What the what the heck's going on?" Like, yeah, because he he tried to make it to where you don't understand what's happening. Sure, and you would be viewing it through their eyes, and he did a really good job of it. Um, mm-hmm. And then he was like, "These are the cargo cults." And then so then throughout the rest of his books about aliens, because you know his alien thing. Um, and you so know, some people read like book, N. T. Wright and Kierkegaard and yeah, and I read Tom DeLonge. Tom DeLonge. I read N.T. Wright. I don't read yeah, much Kierkegaard. I was reading Kierkegaard's uh, DeLonge tough. the other day. <laughs> 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 like it just doesn't. It just sounds dumb. <laughs> dumb long. That's what that sounds like. Dumb anyway, long. yeah. Uh, uh, if you want to suggest a topic, uh, yeah. that's something that I didn't know if you got this from a suggestion. If I you want, if you want to suggest a topic, text Tillon to six six eight six six, and you can join our Patreon. Uh, then you'll get access to our Discord, which is where we've been talking about a mm-hmm. lot of this stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and so I didn't think I had seen this in the discord, mm-hmm. no. but we have a discord yeah. where we talk about just a lot of different things yeah. and hang out and it's basically like a big giant group chat. If you want to be part of it, it's available to our patrons. Yeah, it's really you know? it's a really cool deal because if you if you do that, you text six 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 eight six six to or Tillin to six six yeah, you text six six eight six six to Tillin. <laughs> we were like, you know what? What's <laughs> something that doesn't make sense, huh? <laughs> Let's um, let's just do something that you know. Let's do something off the wall. But if you do that, you get access to our, let's you, you put an eight in there, to our so Patreon. it's not the devil. All right, <laughs> put an eight in. You get access to our Patreon, which gives you access to our Discord, which will get you access to this fabulous website we built called Wikipedia. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> We're just building a big old roundabout to something that's <laughs> absolutely something. free. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. In our Discord, there's a link to Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. Idiot. <laughs> You can load stuff on your own. That's really that's I mean that is fascinating to me. Yeah, yeah, and here's the craziest thing about cargo cults. They learned this from the military because I mean when you're in the military and you're stationed somewhere overseas, uh, they don't let you bring your Game Boy. Like they don't give you anything <laughs> to do for your free time. You yeah. know? Uh, but one thing they let all soldiers bring is their fiddles. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah. To this day in the jungle, you'll hear these fiddle offs. Hey, thanks so much for watching things I learned last night. If you like that, there are more episodes you can watch or you can watch some highlights, but please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss an episode in the future.